There are 7.6 billion people in the world today. Two thirds are in the working ages, usually defined as those between ages 15 and 64. Children ages zero to 14 and those ages 65 and older make up one third. But the share of the population in each age group, referred to as the population age structure, is changing. Countries experience changes in population age structure at different times and rates. But whenever and however age structure changes occur, they have important social, economic, and political effects. Since 1960, the share of children ages 0 to 14 has declined from 37 to 26% of the total population. During the same period, the share of older adults ages 65 and over increased from 5 to 9%, and projections show that older adults will make up 16% of the global population by 2050. We refer to this shift towards a population with a larger share of older adults as population aging. Age structure change occurs in the long-term shift from high to low mortality and fertility, also known as the demographic transition. With fewer births each year, a country's young dependent population shrinks relative to the population of working age adults. The decline in the child dependency ratio creates a window of opportunity for countries to increase investments in social and economic policies that fuel economic growth. If strategic investments are made in education, health, economic policy, and good governance, then countries may experience accelerated economic growth called the demographic dividend. In Sub-Saharan Africa, most of the population is still very young. Today, 43% of the population is under the age of 15. By 2050, we project that this share will decline to 33% of the population. Investing in the health and education of this youthful population is critical for countries hoping to achieve the dividend. As populations proceed through the demographic transition, fertility continues to fall, life expectancy increases, and the population ages. Countries then face the challenge of meeting the increasing medical and long-term care needs associated with the growing population of older adults. In the European Union, the proportion of the population ages 65 and older is expected to increase from 20% in 2018 to 30% in 2050. Between 2016 and 2050, the number of pensioners ages 65 and older is expected to increase from just under 83 million to more than 122 million. As population aging continues, older adults' labor force participation rates remain a key consideration for social and economic policies. Scroll down to learn more about age structure change, population aging, and the effects they both have on issues like education, the labor force, and the economy.